Hello and welcome to this session where we're going to look at setting up your work area. Now this is as bland a screen as you're likely to see anywhere. Um, I'll just show you how to turn the different toolbars on. It's very easy. Just right click anywhere in the grey area in your software but not on one of the toolbars. And if you right click you'll see that the toolbars will begin to appear and our menu here will remain open. If we left clicked this menu that we're clicking now would disappear and we'd have to go through the process again. So it's important to right click until you get all of the tools and just unclick them if you, if you don't want them there. So we, we need the docker tool and I'll just stop there at the moment but our, our digitizing tools are off the bottom here so it's the same process here. If we want our column shape tools, our edit tools, free shape outline tools and vector tools and they'll just jump on the screen and we can move them to where wherever we want to put them or if we don't want them use the X screen X uh, button there so and we can move these tools to, to whatever location suits us okay now the dockers on the right hand side they're not they're not showing and this docker toolbar is the one to use there so if I come back up here and just show you where it was, it's this docker toolbar. You turn that on. You can then turn on your color object list, your color palette editor, your clip art, fly out, your stamp fly out and the others. And to unpin them from the screen so that they fly back over to the right hand side, just click on the pin, it'll lay over to the side and they'll jump back into the right hand side of your screen. So there they are, and if you want to bring them out again, just bring them out. You'll notice that the pin is sideways on, which means it's going to disappear when you start digitizing and, and don't need that screen. It'll just slide away when it's not being used. If you want to keep it uh, in place, pin it down, and it'll jump to the next menu on the list. So and you can drag these menus again wherever you want to. Now, if they do come loose from their docking area here, probably... Uh, the easiest way is to close it down and reactivate it but I'll just show you a little tip if you slide the menu up into the corner until you see that shaded square appear and release it it'll redock there if I pull it away if I drag it and you can see a small shaded area a shaded outline appear it will dock itself in with the clip art there so it gets a little bit confusing. Just drag it back. And drag it until that shaded border, and I can't do it now, that shaded border, border appears. Or the other method would be just to close it so it doesn't fly back anywhere and come back and open it via our docker bar. And that'll take it back to where it, where it was. So there we go, into the shaded area there. Okay, so un, unpin it, and it'll fly back across to the side. So uh, if we want our embroidery clip art fly out to appear, there it is there. 